So um, I've got this ABS pipe. It's going to go here, and I'm going to have a, just a little little section of regular ABS on the other side. You know, to go through here, and then on the top here. Now this fan is going to go inside here, and uh, you can see I'm trying to put a square peg in a round hole. Um, so for those of you who say that's not possible, you haven't found something sharp. So I need to go find something sharp and make this into a round peg. This is the vent here where this is going to come out. And this piece has just got a straight piece that I screwed in. You can see it's split a little bit there, but it's okay. And it's got another screw inside there, and then this is just slip fit on there. It's not glued. And I probably won't glue it so I can get it in and out easily. Um, I took my my jigsaw and I cut this and kind of rounded it out a little bit. And now it fits nicely inside there. Actually, I'm going to run these wires Run these wires through here. And they come out. So the wires are going to come out through here. And then see that the guy just pops right in there. I'm going to caulk it with uh, the caulking. And then you can see uh, even though that the fan takes up a bit of room, there's still enough of a bite on there to get something on there. So it's coming together. Um, actually the toilet is now is basically done. I've got it, well not quite, I've got to do the wiring for this next. But then uh, the toilet itself will be done. Well as we saw back in episode 2, the ventilation is very important, but it doesn't take very much. And as it turned out the computer fan alone would have been adequate. At the time I wasn't sure whether or not it would be. And in any case this was going in an off-grid tiny house on wheels. It would have been running off the house batteries 24-7. So I decided to install a self-contained solar fan as well. This was over $100 and you could save quite a bit of money on a project like this by skipping this part. I'm installing this vent. Um, it's solar powered. It's got NICAD batteries and it'll run 24 hours a day, so they claim. And they say it'll run up to 40 hours without sunlight. That's what it looks like inside. It's going to go through the roof up here. I've uh, drilled a pilot hole with my really long bit. If you don't have a really long bit like that, you're just not a man. And uh, I'm about to uh, use this hole saw. This is a three and uh, three quarter inch hole saw that the manufacturer says is the correct size to drill for the vent. Okay, and now I came up top here to see, just to double check, you can barely see it, but it's uh, coming through the roof, and I just wanted to make sure it already checked, but it clears things like that, the seams. So it looks like in a pretty good spot, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it and hope for the best. So I'm going to start cutting it from the bottom, just uh, because, just in case there's some something bad that, you know, if I cut it and decide for some reason there's a problem, um, at least I won't have a hole in my roof yet. Well, that metal 2x4 was getting in my way. I had to cut it out. It was just completely binding and uh, popping the saw out of the hole, but I got it started a little bit. You can see I got to go change my battery. And there you go. Just like opening up a tin can, huh? I have a hole in my pocket. <laughs> it is Christmas Day 2013 and I am up here cutting holes in the top of the bus. It's very really cold. Everything's frosted up. So, I'm going to try and 
See if I can take a picture of this without falling off the bus or anything like that. I got my pilot hole right there. And here it is from the inside. And there's a button up here I can push to turn the fan on. There it goes. And this will supposedly run 24 hours a day. Um, I got this RV sewer hose, flexible, and that's going to connect to this somehow. I haven't figured that part out yet. Um, although this slip coupler for ABS 3 inch does fit inside there nicely. So if I can figure out, I just need to figure out a way to, to hook up ABS to this guy. So I think I'm about to go to the store and try and figure that out. And here it is, the finished product. The vent pipe for the toilet goes up through here, through the wall and then see what I did here is I put a cabinet there where that recess was. And so the vent goes through here and through the ceiling. Well, thanks for watching. There is always waste to get rid of when your engine uses the food you eat for fuel. Good toilet practices means getting rid of the waste at the right times in the right way.